Hello friends, this video on Amines Part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next is reaction of amine with aldehydes. So I have amine, I'll react with aldehyde. So let's suppose this is my typical amine here. I react with aldehyde. My aldehyde is R dash COH. So what happens here is this H2 will react, this water will come out and what you get is R and double bond C with H and R dash and this is shift base, correct. So please note this is only with primary amine because you need two hydrogen. This has to be primary amine. Primary amine will react with aldehyde to form shift base. And you can further reduce this to a secondary amine actually. So this becomes RNH CH2 R dash. Right? If you add hydrogen, it becomes RNH CH2. This is if you see this is a secondary amine. Correct? So this reaction of amine with aldehyde is only for the primary amine because you should have two hydrogens correct and then whatever output you get you can actually it's called shift base you can do a reduction for this to convert this to a two degree amine let's see the reaction mechanism for this i have r and h2 the double bond here and i have r dash coh slightly negative, slightly positive, so lone pair will attract this carbon. So with this I get R N H H C O minus H N R dash. So here since the nitrogen has given electron to this carbon, nitrogen there is a positive charge. Somebody has to leave this hydrogen's good living group, it will leave as H plus. Right? This becomes R N H and this H plus will come and attack this oxygen you get coh r dash h correct now again there will be h plus that will attack this oxygen it will become h2o plus h2o plus is too heavy then i'll show you this will become h2o plus it's too heavy so this h2o will go off carbon will get a positive charge now since carbon got a positive charge, somebody has to go. If hydrogen goes, carbon will, will get only two bonds. That is not good. Carbon needs four bond. So what will happen is this nitrogen will say, okay, I'll kick this hydrogen off. Hydrogen goes off, nitrogen develops a negative charge, negative and positive forms a bond. So you get R and double bond C H R dash. And this is, if you see, is my shift base. And on this you can do hydrogenation so this bond will break and one hydrogen will add here one hydrogen will add here and you'll get this correct let's see the reaction with aryl sulfonyl chloride let's now see the reaction of amine with aryl sulfonyl chloride let's take one example of aryl sulfonyl chloride as benzene sulfonyl chloride this is my benzene sulfonyl chloride, also called Hinsberg reagent. So this will react with one degree or two degree amine to form Sulfonamides. Please note, it will react only with 1 degree and 2 degree amine, not with 3 degree because it needs some hydrogen to react. I'll take the reaction of the 2 degree actually. Uh, 1 degree amine, let's start with this. So I have this. When react with 1 degree amine, C2H5NH2 here, 
So what will happen is this H and this Cl will come out and you will get NH C2HY and HCl will come out. This is called this is N ethyl, this is a option group, benzene sulfonamide. That is the name of this compound. Right? So this H is actually strongly acidic. And this is a soluble alkyl. This is an electron withdrawing group. So this becomes a little acidic. So now if you want to see the reaction mechanism, the reaction mechanism is this. So I have this sulfonyl aryl sulfonyl chloride. Sulfur is always electron hungry. And I have this nitrogen with the lone pair of electrons. So nitrogen will do what? It will attack this sulfur. Attack the sulfur, right? And then it will be negative charge here. And what you get here is this. O minus this, the chlorine here, and then I have an N here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, and C2H5 here. Since nitrogen is giving electrons to sulfur, nitrogen gets a positive charge. Now what will happen is this oxygen gets negative charge, it will revert back and chlorine will come out. Also since nitrogen has a positive charge, somebody has to come out, hydrogen will come out. So with this, what you get is this compound. See, once nitrogen has positive charge, there has to be some hydrogen to come out, right? So this will happen only for primary and secondary amine. This is was primary amine, it has two hydrogen, one hydrogen came out and you got this as the product. Let's do the similar reaction for secondary amine. I have my, this one, benzyl sulfonyl chloride. When react with secondary amine here. Correct? So this will give me what? This will give me SO and this H and this Cl will go off. N C2HY and C2HY. So reaction mechanism, we can do the similar one which I have done in the last slide. Or if you want, I can draw it for you. Cl and this nitrogen with a lone pair of electron will be attracted towards this sulfur. Go up in this direction, this gets a negative charge. So what will happen is the product you get is something like this. The negative charge, double bond, there's a Cl here, there's a nitrogen here with one hydrogen, one methyl group and another ethyl group. Since nitrogen gave electron to the sulfur, nitrogen gets a positive charge. So this oxygen will go in this direction, this electron will go in this direction, chlorine will come out, nitrogen wants to get rid of this hydrogen, positive charge actually. So to get rid of this positive charge, somebody has to go, this hydrogen will go in this direction. So what you get is this actually. This is what you get. Correct. This is so if you see this happens only for 1 degree and 2 degree, correct? For 3 degree this reaction doesn't happen. So this property is also used to distinguish 3 degree from 1 degree and 2 degree. So you have 3 compounds, 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree. I have to find which one is 3 degree compound or which one is tertiary amine. So in that case I can use this reaction. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.